All right. So yesterday marked the 10th anniversary of the iPhone 3G. Um, and I would have made a video about this yesterday, but I didn't have time to. And I already did another video on that over there. So, yeah. Anyways, here's my iPhone 3G I got here. This is the black 16 gigabyte model. And, um, you know, the form factor really hasn't changed in a 2G. The plastic back, and obviously it's better in a lot of ways. But, yeah. It's got standard screen here. Got a home button. Here, it used a 30 pin dock connector, which pretty much every Apple mobile device at the time used. Has standard loudspeaker and microphone. It uses Phillips screws instead of the proprietary ones that they use today, so really easy to take apart. Um, side here is nothing. Or here is the power button, the headphone jack, and the SIM card tray. We just insert the top, and it was a full size SIM card along this size side has the switch and rhyme buttons you can only set this to mute this cannot be for orientation lock alright so here's my phone this one's jailbroken the studio and I think I want and open it up here I have it running the latest version possible which is iOS version 4.2.1 and I've also jailbroken it so that it is no longer locked to AT&T because all these were pretty much locked to AT&T. I've also jailbroken it for with battery percentage and multitasking, which would be things that you could not get on the iPhone 3G. I think I might turn on screen brightness just to help you see it's a little better. Yeah. Does a spotlight search? Yeah, it's a little laggy and slow, but yeah, it makes sense. YouTube no longer works. A couple of months ago, it would just show a video saying that this would no longer be supported and just go to the browser. But now it doesn't even work at all. It just says it's straight up not available. So YouTube no longer works. <laughs> Typically, if you have not jailbroken your device, the phone app wouldn't have worked because AT&T shut down their servers so it doesn't work anymore. But I jailbroken it so now it does work. Excuse me, I'm trying to get the SIM card out. So you just remove this AT&T card and I'll just use this modern SIM card over here with an adapter to fit into the full size SIM card. If you're wondering where I got this adapter from, it's just from the card that you'd get when you obtain your SIM card from a T-Mobile retailer. So it says no SIM, then it's on service. We'll wait. And there is T-Mobile. So it does send and receive calls, and text messaging does work too. And the mail app also does work, though due to the security requirements, that have appeared over the years, I could not get Yahoo working. But I could get Google Mail working, which is now known as Gmail. And you can see here is where it said that I my phone doesn't support my new thing because yeah. You know. And it says I'm not using the official Gmail app, but that doesn't matter anyways. So yeah. And is it not this? Um, Safari also works, though it is extremely slow. Like slow, really slow. It's going to the Google website. It's very slow. And this is back when you couldn't even put a space in the address bar. You could put spaces. So I'll just go to Google.com, I guess. Go Google, and then you click .com, or you could just type in .com, but whatever. And even Google takes a while to load. Even though, yeah. There is mobile and classic. This is in mobile, so. I'll show you what classic looks like. And it's tiny, really tiny. You gotta zoom in to see anything on it. But yeah, you can see that it's just Google search. I'll search uh, the ch my own channel up on this, so I'll go to C. 
dot five four seven six. Eight. Ignore the noise. That's just my family. And it is. It is uh, still see a bunch of stuff. I do have an account on SuperMarioLogan.com because I do watch Super Mario Logan. That uh, partially inspired me to make my channel in the first place. And when you scroll down, it's just a bunch of irrelevant stuff regarding my channel because my channel's not that big, and there's other stuff that involves the characters that I type into the address bar. Let's go to my YouTube page. Probably won't load though. It's very power intensive. Very slow. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Just wait. Yep, it loaded. Oh god. You can see that it's very slow and laggy because what do you expect? It's a ten year old phone. And the iOS is like eight years old, so yeah. Very slow. You could play video but it'd probably load Just have the iPod app. Yeah, iPod, it's not music, like you usually see on Mario Today, it's iPod. But it has other things of music I would have, you put your songs on here, and I'll just play some music for you, from your YouTube audio library, so you don't get a copyright strike. Yeah, L Mart would be here, um, whoops. You could scrub, got shuffle mode, order mode. You can select this to see the playlist, but there's only one song. And you put it horizontally, you got color flow. Yeah, it's cool, but most of my stuff doesn't have it. Yeah. And you got your playlist, which you can compose your own list of music. I have YouTube music. Not not the app. I mean just like music that I use for YouTube videos. Not the not music I've downloaded from YouTube music. That's not it's not what it is. You got shuffle mode, you can edit, clear, delete stuff. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. Also, the videos, and I have my own videos on here, so, like, again, I don't get a copyright strike. I'll just choose bus stop over here. Audio works. You can adjust the scrubbing rate. Based on how close the bar you are. Scrub faster, you go higher. Scrub slower, you go lower down here. Scrub to the exact place you want. You can pause, control the volume. You can even adjust this so it fits the entire screen, though that cuts out the top and the bottom. So I don't typically do that. Flip it over. It works. This has an accelerometer, there's no gyroscope. And, uh, or here is an ambient light sensor and a proximity sensor so when you put the phone up against your ear it turns the screen off and here is the EP this is where you can listen to your calls from yeah. show all the features since I'm multitasking it actually does keep the apps open so I have to close them now I cannot jump from app to app via multitasking because that completely crashes the phone because this is not really supposed to support it you only go to the home screen then go to multitasking and select an app because it crashes calendar well considering that it doesn't connect to the internet it works just fine go to photos you can view the photos on your device I only have two got camera also a record video app you take a picture. It's very slow. Very slow. Like, damn, look at that lag. This would not be acceptable today. No no person would want to use this today. That back in two thousand eight it was good enough. I can't even record video though. Like I have older cell phones, flip phones that can record video, but nope. Smartphone two thousand eight, no video, just take pictures. Also, forgot to take a picture. It does have zoom, no autofocus, so. Yeah, that's great. 
Stock zap does work. Go pretty slowly. There it is. The map zap also works. I think I might have a location on here though. Don't want to show you that. Let's check out railroad map. Let's just choose a random location. Just choose a Washington DC, whatever. Oops, spelled it wrong. Just type that in. It's taking a while to load. Okay, so it just it just chose regular Washington, but it does work. The map stuff does work. It's powered by Google, so I guess this is just using the Google map servers. Got the weather app, which does work. Get Cupertino. Get add other ones, like uh, let's see. Let's just do Washington again. Oh, Washington D.C. You can do this. So now you see the weather. Okay. Fortunately, um, when you select this, it only shows the weather on the entire day. You cannot go through the individual hours. There's no humidity or wind chill factor or anything like that. Just plain weather. Tells you everything. That's it. And seeing that there's a Yahoo logo down there, I'm going to guess it's powered by Yahoo Weather. Got the notes app. That still... No notes. We type in a note. iPhone 3G now 10 years old. So yeah, notes to work. Click done. Saves that note up. And I can write a new note if I want to, but I don't want to. I choose an app store. Um, I think they do still load, but they're very slow, and the app store has very little support now. Especially, yeah. If you think iTunes, you can still download music. Yeah, it's very slow. And you can also download videos, too. But, yeah, still download, still works. So, yeah. Go to the app store and see how that works. Okay. Does work, but again, very little support. Not looking to get a whole lot on this, anyways. Yeah, it's very slow. Let me just. Oh, it's not turned full. It's, yeah, I, I know it's, it's slow. Alright, there you go. So yeah, very slow and laggy. I don't know. I didn't have a phone in 2008, so I don't know if it was always this slow or if people just straight up dealt with it. But here's the contacts app. Just shows you your contacts. I have contact information on there. I don't want to show you that. But however, I did manage to get two third-party apps working, which is Google and Google Translate. We'll just use Translate because Google is basically just a search engine. It's taking forever to load the application. Oh, there it is. It's to Spanish. Let's we'll see. Let's just type in hello. The iPhone. I can't. G is now 10. Years. Let's see that does. Get still works. Yeah. Um. See if anything I missed here. Well, I pretty much did everything. So yeah, that's the iPhone 3G. It's now 10 years old. Man, technology has definitely improved, especially the iPhone 10 and facial recognition.
did lose a lot though, like the home button and the headphone jack and user serviceability. But yeah, it has a plastic back, just got the metal frame. And I also like this look too. It's very form factor. I really think it can be hand on a 3GS because that can go all the way to iOS 6 and probably get a lot more support. But yeah, I think as of right now, I have all 3Gs. Yeah. These things are probably going to be collectible. Like the iPhone 2Gs are already very collectible. And sealed phone can get up to hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. The iPhone 3G has not caught up just yet, but it could be. Like, it's already approaching 10 years. It, it, you don't know what it's going to be like. With tech products, it can go up, down, both. It doesn't really matter. You know, clock gap here. It's very simple stuff. Anyways, I hope you liked that video about me showing you the iPhone 3G. Well, comment, like, subscribe if you want. See you later.